What's going on TW fans? Thomas here and welcome to this Independence Day edition of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. We got some great new selections from some of our favorite manufacturers and a couple reintroductions of some classics that aren't done bringing big fish to your next weigh-in. So let's jump right in with some selections from Big Bite Baits. First up we have the Finesse Swimmer. Some of you may recognize this classic. Mike McClelland actually used this to secure his victory at Table Rock in the 2017 Bassmaster Open. With a great V-body design on this one, it's gonna stay perfectly balanced in the water, while that large paddle tail is gonna give you a great wide kick, whether you're dragging it in slow or burning it back to the boat. Gonna go fantastic on any of your favorite jigs, uh, weighted swim bait hook, or even the back of an umbrella rig. Comes in eight different colors designed by Mike himself to bring fish to your boat. Next up, we have the Smalley Smasher. This is gonna be a new finesse offering that's gonna go fantastic on any of your classic, you know, drop shot, split shot, Carolina rig, Ned rig or even a little shaky head. The thin spine and wide paddle tail is gonna give great motion when you're in the water, really drawn in bites from far away. Designed on some premier smallmouth flakes, this is gonna bring big smallies and their bucket mouth cousins to your live well. Moving on, we got a new imitation craw here from Big Bite Baits. This one's the college craw. Now this one's gonna go fantastic on the back of your favorite jig or as a standalone on a Texas rig or Carolina rig. With some lifelike appendages here on the side, and some oversized, soft, flapping claws up front. If that's not enough to coax into big bass, Big Bite Baits also included a heavy dose of bite juice. Now, another cool thing with this one is not only did they invest a lot into the craw, they're actually investing into our future anglers. A portion of all proceeds is gonna to go towards a college grant that's gonna be awarded to a nationally recognized collegiate team at the end of this year. That announcement will come in December, so be sure and do your part, jump in now. Last from Big Bite Baits, we got a new tube. This one's called the Tour Tube. This was designed with pro angler Jeff Crete. It's available in seven of his favorite colors and is there when the conditions are real tough, when you just can't seem to get bit on anything else. Made with ultra soft plastic, that's gonna allow for easy hook penetration, giving you a better hookup ratio. So that's gonna be more fish in your live well. Next, we got another tube here. This one from Dry Creek Custom Baits. We got the full bodied, double dipped fire tail tube. This one's made with a new double dip design on here, kind of unique. That dual color scheme looks awesome and adds a little bit of flair to your tackle box. It's got a nice alluring profile and is gonna have that bait fish swimming action. Now, not only does this dual color scheme look great, it also adds an extra layer of durability. What that's gonna translate to is more fish per tube, more money in your wallet. All right, we got another classic here that's out. This one is coming from Lucky Strike, the ringworm. This is a super versatile soft plastic. You're gonna be able to use this in, of course, all of your finesse techniques. Drop shot, split shot, little Carolina rig, you know, of course, Nico, Ned rigs, and even a little shaky head. But the compact design is also gonna go perfect on the back of your favorite swim jig or chatterbait. In fact, Rick Clun put it on the back of his spinnerbait, the Trickster spinnerbait, to pull out a W here earlier this season at a Bassmaster Elite event on the St. Lawrence River. So this one's gonna be available in five different fish catching colors, including this one right here, Firecracker. I like it because it's pretty patriotic. What's more American than catching a fish on the old red, white, and blue? All right, moving on to a new one from Venom Lures. We have their new Pro Series Unguarded Jig. This one's gonna be kind of a unique design that's meant to be fished in the heaviest, thickest of cover. Comes with a sticky, sharp, and super stout VMC extra wide gap 4 aught hook. Also has a CPS spring on there, so you're gonna be able to rig your favorite plastics perfectly weedlessly. So when you're looking for that kicker fish in thick cover and you don't wanna use, I don't know, a Texas rig or another swim jig with kind of that unnatural heavy weed guard, this is the jig you need to turn to. New from Demiki, we have the Demiki Vault Blade Tailspin. Very similar to their original blade, this time they added a little willow leaf at the back. That's gonna bring some flash to the wobble that you're already used to from the original blade. Now that uh, willow leaf is attached with a premium ball bearing swivel that's gonna keep that willow leaf spinning smooth cast after cast after cast. Up top, we do have the three line tying options, which is gonna allow the angler to customize the wobble from wide to ultra tight. It's gonna come in six different colors and a couple different sizes here to be able to match your hatch perfectly. Ready to fish right out of the box with a razor sharp Demiki Viper treble hook. This one's ready to go whether you're vertical jigging it or casting it a mile. Last and certainly not least, we have a new top water that we're super excited about. Mega Bass has come out with a new iWing 135. Somewhat similar to some of the other top water crawlers that we have on the market, they added a few really unique features. First, it's got the jointed design in the back. Up front, we have the oversized, customizable Duralumin wings. Inside, we have the new patent pending RAB Pendulum weight system. 
what that weight system does, it is a, it's a weight on a pendulum that's going to pivot back and forth. It's going to really exaggerate that crawling motion on there. Not only is it going to enhance the motion, you can hear that knocking sound each time that that weight hits the side. Basically a dinner bell for those big bass. So whether you're bringing this one back into the boat dead slow, kind of imitating one of those wounded bait fish, or you're kicking it into high gear, burning it so you get that buzzing, crawling topwater action, this is guaranteed to bring some big topwater explosions. That's going to wrap up this holiday episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, if for more information or if you liked any of these products, be sure to click the link below. If you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to follow our page. As always, let us know in the comments which of this week's products you're most pumped about to use on the water.